So, in the, uh, what will be the fourth instalment of the Gutsy, Motor Gutsy V65 engine investigation, I've uh, removed the cylinder head, as you can see, and uh, exposing the top of the piston, the right-hand piston, and there was um, a lot of swarf you know, shavings of metal lying here in the uh, hollowed out crown of the piston. What I'm going to do now is remove the cylinder barrel so we can have a better look at this piston, probably remove it and uh, probably examine it for damage and to try and uh, work out whether or not it could potentially be uh, salvageable or not. So I've already very gently with uh, a large screwdriver I've already gently just uh, levered both sides of this uh, cylinder block just to break the gasket seal and it is moving now. I also had to um, just put the uh, bike into gear um, and just r run it along a little bit to move the piston up towards top dead centre. So what we'll do first of all we'll remove the cylinder head gasket. I've taken away um, all the loose significant bits of swarf. There is still a little bit here a little bit concerned about. I don't want that to drop into the cylinder crankcases, of course. I'm just going to try and get a little bit more of that carefully out on the end of the screwdriver, like that. Uh, yeah, I'm actually just going to go, go, go and get a small screwdriver just to try and lever the rest of that out. to go down that oil hole. Okay. Now I'm going to gently pull the cylinder barrel up towards me. You can see the piston there. It will clear even with the petrol tank on. And I'm just going to watch the piston as it comes out off the bottom of the barrel. So it doesn't sort of crash against the engine case. It's coming, I can see a lot of the piston now, so I'm going to just thread this rag. Of course, there's no, no pin there. Just thread this rag around, stop the piston sort of falling as it comes out, and also to try and prevent any of that swarf dropping into the crankcase. Lift it up a little bit more, almost free now, there it is free, so I'm just going to support the piston as I remove the cylinder barrel and just put that carefully to one side and there's the piston so I'm just going to get this rag underneath the skirt of the piston to try and stop any of that swarf getting into the crankcases. Just let it there gently, and that's the the piston exposed. Um, we have a quick look into the cylinder ball. You can see that on the camera. You can see the honing marks from when the piston was bored. Uh, the cylinder's bored. The honing marks there. There's some light vertical scoring. The honing marks are the sort of diagonal lines. That's normal, and that shows that there's actually not too much wear in that ball because you wouldn't be able to see those honing marks. Um, and apart from that, the light scoring, really, that, that cylinder ball looks to me in pretty good condition. Um, a specialist would measure that, the internal diameter, very carefully to, you know, hundredths of a millimetre. But just, for me, the fact you can see the honing marks there fairly evenly suggests to me that that, that cylinder is in good condition. It's the piston which is in question. Obviously the pistons had damage. You can see where the valve exhaust valve head broke away. It's stamped into the piston there. It's also stamped into it over here, I think, as well. There is some damage. Um, it's whether you'd get combustion leakage from these areas here. I don't know. I've got a feeling that we may need to replace this piston. But that will be the next... Uh, I'm going to remove this piston. And I'm going to take the piston 
that he's something that on the head to a motor gutsy specialist and ask for their opinion on uh, what how serviceable or what remedial work needs doing to get this cylinder uh, and this engine indeed back back in working order.